Hello, I'm Barry Littleton here with Albert LaGrange at the ECTI Ranch. We had an experience about uh, two nights ago, less than 48 hours, about 3 a.m. We were standing in the Pleiadian Circle here and uh, we noticed something on the side of the tree over here, which is facing Mount Flat and uh, Great Beauty, uh, Sleeping Beauty as it's called. Flathead. We noticed something that... Uh, Flathead, oops. that one. Flathead? Yeah. Flathead. yeah. Flathead, sorry, my apologies, Flathead. Uh, it uh, actually was near the tree here and we thought it was Jupiter at first. It's doing multiple flashes. Then we began to see it um, morph into five. Five different spears, glowing spears. Then it went elongated, uh, it went vertical, went back and just kept morphing. At this time, I wasn't really saying anything, although Albert was watching it also. He started kind of breathing deeply. He's seeing it morphing, all right? After he gets done putting on quite a show, it appears to also be shooting out a few probes as well. It starts to descend to the mountain, down into the mountain. When it gets down into the mountain, okay, it flashes away for just a moment, disappears. Then it's visible again from inside. <laughs> it's visible from inside the mountain. We could see it from inside the mountain about halfway down and it came back up above the above the crest there, goes down about three times, allowing us to see it through the mountain. And there appeared to also be a type of mist around the, the top of the mountain at that time. When it went a little further down about middle, it disappeared, okay? So this uh, was hard to accept, all right? There's a lot of experiencers, experiences that happen here. You can just come out here and see ships that might be satellites, might not be. It's so active, but nothing to the degree that I saw here. I've been a lifetime experiencer, a physical one, but I've not seen anything quite like that. And it takes and presses what I call, what's called the principle, the holographic principle and the quantum hologram. Why it is that we see two ships at one time, all right? Now we discussed that a little, but that was seen here. That implies that this is a holographic projection on part of this mountain. There's no way around it. I did not tell Albert, hey Albert, are you seeing through the mountain? And he just, I said, what are you seeing? And he described exactly what I was seeing. This was a real phenomenon that was seen. Just want to let people know, uh, I'm pretty blown away by it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so having lived here for like close to four months, I see a lot and it's all, you know, magical and stuff. It's a great time, but nothing quite to the extent of what we saw a few nights ago, just with the form and how low it was and the way it morphed and pulsed in the in the power-ups around it and yeah the most mind-blowing part is how it projected through the mountain and how the mountain seemed to have like kind of an inconsistent form like as you can see the, the way it's solid the peaks are, are as they are but the other night it was it was like an amoeba almost and uh yeah, I, it, the only logical explanation is some kind of holographic projection technology, perhaps. <laughs> I mean, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Great, we're standing in front of basically a partially holographic uh, mountain to some degree. I mean, there's no way around it. We saw it. And it's one thing to talk about the holographic, but to see it... Yeah, and it makes me wonder, Mount Adams is obviously the Stargate and extremely active and the activity on the mountain and around it is, uh, is very high and incredible, but just even the foothills in this area and just the land, there's got to be a lot more than, a lot more that's going on here than just lights in the sky. They're probably beneath us right now.